<laughs> Hi. Do you like spirals? The spirals are amazing. It's it's the most godly shape that has ever graced the fabric of reality. It's just so amazingly perfect. You know what also I like? One of the most amazingly horrible manga series ever. A horror series that was written in 1999 by Junji Ito, master of horror himself. A manga series referred to only as simply Uzumaki. <laughs> Okay, uh, to get right off the bat though, uh, this does not have anything to do with Naruto. Um, I don't think I have to state that, but yeah, I think I have to state that. This has nothing to do with Naruto. So I know as anime fans, we're pretty much programmed that as soon as we think Uzumaki, we immediately think of the yellow-haired orange kid, but we really have to move beyond that because that is not the fucking point of this series! <laughs> The series, point, point of this series, the point of this series, well, you know what, I'm not going to go into the whole thing, because the series itself is, I think, like four volumes long, it even had a live action adaptation movie done in 2000, I, I, I don't believe it has an English dub, so I'm just going to go into uh, the first two chapters, because that's probably the more famous aspect of this series, like that's the one everyone remembers, um, Okay, so basically, the, the premise here is this young lady goes back to her hometown, which is kind of completely surrounded by spirals. Uh, like, the leaves, and, the, and like, whenever the wind blows and the leaves get knocked into the air, the, the leaves always form a little twister. Whenever the water uh, rushes down the side of the street, it always forms spiral patterns. And it's... that's not creepy in on its own, but you have to think of the grand picture. In a lot of ways, symbols can be used to harbor fear. It happens in poetry, it happens in plays and works of fiction everywhere. Shapes can be used to define terror. Uh, spirals, even if... It's, it's really the definition of a spiral, is it's a swirling pattern that grows more and more narrow the more it gets to the center. Uh, you can look about that in terms of a person's sanity. You know, it branches out here, and maybe the further you go down the line, the further the person gets older, and he gets, you know, closer toward the end of his life, it slowly gets more torrential and, and spiral pattern at the center. Um, but the point of the matter is, this guy, he's obsessed with spirals, to the point where he doesn't even just, he, it's not just like he's collecting stuff with spirals, although that's how it starts off. He literally starts contorting his body to form a spiral, and this eventually leads to his death, in which probably one of the most gruesome, creepy as fuck panels I've ever wa I've ever read in a manga series before, where the guy literally contorts his body inside of a little tiny wash tub. And I'm not gonna show you the scene because I swear to God, some of you are gonna have nightmares over it. Ah, fuck it. Manga itself is a very difficult medium. What do I mean by that? I mean by it's very hard to portray emotion the right way because you're only limited to two colors or two shades, to be more precise. You're limited to black and white. Yes, I know some manga are serialized in color, uh, but mostly that's for the more child demographic, and this is obviously a seinen series. I know some manga have color pages, but we're not talking about that. For the most part, you are limited to black and white. That is it. So, it is up to the mangaka or or the, or the illustrator, whoever whoever draws the panels, uh, maybe like with Death Note or with uh, Dead Man Wonderland, where you have two different people that are writing and illustrating. Uh, it's up to that person to try to convey both the theme, the mood, exactly how they want to perceive this uh, series. Take Death Note, for example. The, de the characters in Death Note are drawn uh, very serious, very realistically. Compare that to another series such as like One Piece or Naruto, which are drawn in a more cartoony type way, or a more way that's kind of separated from reality. Bleach is kind of sort of just more streamlined, straight lines, and you know, right angular corners. That's kind of what Kubo goes for. But this series, Jinji Ito, um, did something with the shading. 
and the shading here is really what drives it home. It's just the way these characters are drawn, particularly the faces, which are insanely realistic, and just the shadows, and the way the shadows fall on not just the ground, but on the people's faces, the expressions they make, the expressions on the father's face every time he does something creepy and contorted. Every single line and wrinkle on his face is visible and, exp and, and expresses fear to the very corners of your soul. So... I'm giving huge props here for the drawing style, okay? And there's other manga series that do great drawing styles. I know I praise Dead Man Wonderland for the for the kind of, you know, distorted way Ganta and them were drawn. It kind of more of a gritty feeling. This one is more of a creepy feeling, but it does it such a good way. It inspires t terror. It really does. And it's in a series which, you know, it doesn't, I mean, it involves death, but it's not like death is the main forefront of the series. It's not like there's a crazy guy going around hacking off people. It's just the, the, the twisted, uh, t pun, twisted uh, ways that the human mind goes. And you can look at it like, oh, maybe this guy just has dementia. Maybe he has obsessive compulsive disorder. Or, or, or maybe it's the spirals from the town itself which are kind of controlling him and warping his mind. I'm making so many freaking twisting puns, but it, it really is amazing. It really is. I don't want to go any further in the series than that. Uh, what I basically just summed up was pretty much the first chapter, a little bit of the second. Um, but yeah, it's, it, it's something that it just... It's a horror manga. I don't want you to think like, oh, this is just a, oh, it's a little creepy at times. You know, I, I use creepy too much. It's a very loose term. I need to stop doing that because creepy is just kind of like, oh, I got the goosebumps after a, like you're 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 late at night editing a video at 1 a.m., which is probably what I'm going to be doing tonight, and you're you just hear like a creak in the background. You're just like, oh, what's that? Like your hair stands up on your neck there. That's that's creepy. This series Uzumaki. That inspires terror, which I even think the secondary title of the series is Uzumaki, A Tale of Terror, or some of some such like that. Um, I actually did not know about the series up until a couple, about last year. See, it was funny. A guy that I went to high school with, uh, out of nowhere, just messages me on Facebook and he says, Hey, I have a manga, I have a, no, not a manga, I have an English class. And part of the English class they assigned us was to read Uzumaki. And he, te he messaged me because I was the manga guy in high school. I was the guy that was in all that Japanese stuff. So he asked me if I read it. And I got into it. And I'm like, holy crap, dude, this is some intense shit. What happened to that? Why, why are the English professors in my college not giving me this cool shit to read? I had a 15-page research paper I had to do in my research writing class last semester, okay? You know how many pages I wrote? Eight. Okay, and I still squeak by with a B because the professor was pretty cool like that, but that's not my side of the point. The point is that if I was reading this cool shit, I would write like a freaking 15, 16, I would write a whole freaking short story anthology about my journey through this series, okay? Go and read it now! I'm gonna stand here and, 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 and look at this spiral some more. It's, it's Vanillaite! Vanillaite, look at the spiral! It's amazing. Look at the spirals, Vanellite. You're, you, you want to be a spiral? You can be a spiral too. We can all be spirals. Every single one of us can be a spiral. 